Why, if you're asking yourself if this is a real Australian PR1M, you would be correct. Let's check this thing out. Hey everybody, welcome back for another review. Super, super stoked. This has been on my top list of rations. I can't tell you for how long. A PR1M. These things are literally like the Holy Grail. I think the only thing that is probably more scarce is like an Indian ration or like something from Africa. But man, check this thing out. We have its menu B. And when I show you this date on here, you guys are going to wig out. Look at that. January 17th of 2018. It doesn't get any fresher than that. Well, let's bust this thing open and see what we have inside. And let me give a real good shout out to, of course, Black Dog Surplus for providing this ration. And for Prepack Limited for sending this to us for a awesome review. This is quite the treat indeed. Now, Old May Drop Bear, he did a review, a comparison review, which I thought was rather ingenious. And pretty much the only differences between a PR1M and a CR1M is the combat ration one man comes with these ready-made meals where the PR1M comes with a freeze-dried main that is less weight. Let's start pulling this stuff out. It's no real surprise seeing how we have a clear plastic bag. Of course, have one of my most favorite type of ration spoons. The tactical field shovel. Love these things. Well, one thing I noticed right off the bat from talking with old mate Drop Air, he said that they were no longer going to include freeze dried rice, but obviously they still do, or at least they will, why they have existing stocks. So, some freeze dried rice. Two of the mains. Let's take a look at these. This one is beef teriyaki, it's 110 grams. And this one is mango curry lamb. Wow, talk about a small package. We have some delicious migoreng noodles. <laughs> Actually quite a fan of these now, now that I know how to make them. Some sustagen. This looks like it is a protein meal replacement. And it's chocolate flavor, and you can see all of the nutrition facts on the back. Like we have like a bin liner or what you can use to store what you have not eaten already. Jack Link's steak bar, pepper flavor. And these are all fruit bars. They're both raspberry. I'm assuming these are kind of like a uh, like a European raw bite. Some toilet paper or whatever you want to use that for. The famous musk flavored lifesavers. If you aren't raised with these, these definitely have a different kind of flavor. Accessory packet, we'll take a look at that in a second. This is one of my favorite things in a CR1M, or even now a PR1M, is this bread. And it is delicious. Branded M&Ms. Natural muesli with fruits and seeds. It's that 90 grams of that. Biscuits jam sandwich. It's a whole grain cereal bar with fruit and chia seeds. Hmm. Isotonic drink, more beverage powder, tropical flavor. The ADF chocolate ration, 50 gram bar. 
packet of non-dairy creamer or powdered milk. Marmalade is the first time that I've got this. Very excited to try it. I usually get that plum jam and of course yeast extract. Then you get this scouring pad. It already has the liquid detergent inside to help clean out your mess gear. And then this nice container of matches that includes the strike. And this is something new. This isn't secured with a rubber band. This is an actually sealed accessory pack. And this was assembled on November 27th, 2017. Now, if for some reason you didn't have a knife and, I don't know, you couldn't tear open the bag, just grab this thread right into that corner and it rips the bag right open. Neat little tip. Then you have some rubber bands. You can use these rubber bands for boot blousers or to seal any containers that you haven't finished eating. Again, the thread, you have a can opener, a bottle opener, and a small stir spoon. And inside you get two packs of gum and each one of these have three little uh, briquettes, two tea bags, packet of tomato ketchup, salt and pepper, packet of Tabasco, two coffees, and two sugars. Now looking at this, the one thing that this thing does not have inside of it is a tube of sweetened condensed milk. That will be something that I will miss for sure. Well, with all that being said, let's get breakfast together. And let's get our muesli and our drink made up. The muesli calls for not a specific amount of water, but it says you can add your non-dairy creamer or sugar to taste and your sausaging calls for 200 mil, or not quite seven ounces of water. And let's get everything else on a tray. We'll do our fruit bars. And I guess these are taking the place of those fruit grains. It's essentially just a compressed block of raspberry. And like we said, there's two of those. Then the whole grain cereal bar with fruit and chia seeds. Kind of looks like a standard granola bar. We got some pumpkin seed in there. The Mentos gum for freshening things up. And of course, the muesli. Binder clips are quite nice for this. Also, clothespins work in a pinch. And just remember, I like my muesli on the thicker side. So it all depends on how much water that you add to these. And it'll be the per perfect consistency for you. And of course, feel free to add as much sugar or, of course, the non-dairy creamer as you wish. And then the yeast extract in the marmalade. And you usually get like a breakfast biscuit or something like that that goes well with your yeast extract. I'm just going to put a little dab on my muesli. And same with my marmalade. <laughs> well... I guess a lot of marmalade. And then of course, our sustagen protein drink and our coffee. Let's get to sampling. 
Of course, right off the bat, we can see a little bit of raisin. What looks to be some apricot, probably some papaya. I'll scroll all that on the bottom of the screen. It's nice and thick and tasty. Let's give that a go. The rolled oats, they absorbed all that water. They're nice and soft. And you get a little bit of sweetness from that fruit. And then, of course, if you were over here with your marmalade, you would definitely get that good bit of sweetness with this. And I looked on the tube to see if that was orange. It just says a nice citrus fruit. And it does have that sweet citrusy flavor, which is awesome. And then, of course, we'll try with the Vegemite. And this has a nice yeasty flavor. I mean, it's a yeast extract. But just imagine all of that great dark beer. All of that yeast on the bottom of that vat when it's being made. That's essentially what this kind of stuff is. It's awesome. And it's nice and it's salty. It's got that good yeasty hearty taste. These probably complement each other very well too. We'll do a little of both. So then you get that salty, that savory. And you get some of that fruit action in there. And the soft rolled oats. This is very, very tasty. We'll look at our raspberry fruit bar. And I have to say, I like the fruit bar as opposed to all those small fruit grains because when these things had a lot of temperature fluctuation, these are very sticky. And you got those little itty bitty squares of those fruit grains. You got like 50 of them in that packet. It kind of made it a really large mess to eat. This thing, you just grab one bar, plop it in your mouth at one time. You could have it for breakfast or even when you're on the move. Then let's take a look at the whole grain cereal bar. And it gives fruit and cheese seeds, but a whole bunch of other seeds in there as well. This is like a vegan delight. It's, it's not very sweet. It just has a slight sweetness to it. But it has that freshness to it, because as soon as you bite into it, it kind of crumbles all apart. You can kind of taste the individual seeds. Very tasty. I don't taste as much fruit, but it looks like there's just small little specks of, like, cranberry or something like that. We'll find out for sure. And then, of course, we got this protein drink. Let's give it another stir really quick. These things are almost a meal onto their own. It has an ample amount of protein. Also, if you didn't want to drink this, you could mix it in with your muesli and have chocolate muesli. And essentially this is just a less thick version of like a Metrix protein powder or something like that. I, I used to lift weights a lot and got into Metrix creatine muscle builder protein powder. This is just kind of like a thinner version of that. I actually kind of prefer this because then you don't get all that stuff stuck in your teeth. Mm. And then lastly we have this coffee. Just got a little bit of sugar in it. Army freeze-dried coffee. Not much more you can say about it. Slightly bitter, a little warm, but that's what you need to help get you up and moving and lubricate your body to say it is time to roll. Well, everybody, guess we could finish everything off with a piece or two of gum to help cleanse that palate, make everything nice and fresh. And after we finish breakfast, we still have a few things left over. So take your sack, take your the rest of your powdered milk, gum, whatever else that you didn't eat, toss it in your bag, and you can consume it with other meals for the rest of the day.